Welcome! Today we're going to learn factoring and simplifying. So basically um, this is, uh, video was created to help students, uh, especially after you have taken derivatives and quotient rules specifically, you can get some pretty messy derivatives uh, like the one we have in item 1. And I want to just review ways that you can factor and simplify these expressions once you've taken the derivative. So let's start with our example in 1 and see what we can do. Okay, so if you look at item 2, uh, that is exactly the same as item 1. I haven't changed anything. The only difference is I've circled um, the expressions in the numerator and separated a, part, we're calling it uh, part of it a and part of it b. Um, and the reason I've done this is I want you to visually see a and b as two separate things. Um, basically, anything that's multiplied together, you want to kind of call, combine that all and call that one thing as we've done in B. And in A, you just have an expression that's uh, to the one-half power. That's all one thing. And these two items are separated by a minus sign. Uh, you want to do this when you're factoring. Uh, so we have done that. Okay, now let's go to 3. Um, what we've done is we want to look at A and B and we want to factor out something, and we do that in D. Uh, what's common to A and B are x squared plus 1. That's a common base. So we can factor out a common base, but we de then have to factor out an exponent. So again, going back to A and B, uh, we have an exponent to the 1 half, and in B we have to the negative 1 half. So you want to choose the lowest number, which in this case is minus 1 half. And that's what we're going to use as our exponent, and we, you see that in E. Okay, so our factor, the base is x squared plus 1, the exponent is minus 1 half. Once we've factored that out, now um, in item F, within those brackets, we're going to put what is left from our expressions in A and B. Okay, and I'm going to do that on the next slide. So in item 1, I've rewritten our original expression, and I've shown you where a and b are so that you can uh, visually go back and forth to that as we uh, continue our factorization. Okay, now we're going to move to item 2, and if you look at our factor in c, which we've already spoken about, it's x squared plus 1 to the minus 1 half. So the way we factor, we want to compare that factor to item a first. So if you compare C to A, they have a common base, but in C it's negative one-half and in A it's positive one-half. So what's, what we're going to do is we're going to put in item D x squared plus 1 to the first power. And the reason we do that is that, remember, C times D must equal A. And if you multiply C times D, Essentially, you're going to add those exponents, and 1 minus a half is a half, and that's exactly what we have in A. So that's how we determine what's left. Now let's go to the next term. So we're going to compare C to B. Here, x squared plus 1 to the minus 1 half is in both terms. The only thing that's different is the x squared in item B. So to account for that, we're going to put that in E. Okay, now again, if you want, and don't forget, there's a minus sign in between, so that's why we have a minus sign as well in between D and E. Now, again, check your answers. I typically like to just uh, consider the multiplication part and check my answers that way. So if C times D better equal A and C times E better equal B, if it doesn't, you've not factored correctly. Okay, so let's continue a little more. In item 1, uh, if you look at item A, uh, we have x squared plus 1 minus x squared, so you can cancel the x squareds, and then if you go to B, you'll see that leaves you simply with 1. The next thing we're going to do, if you look at C, you have x squared plus 1 to the minus 1 half. Well, we don't like to keep a negative exponent in the numerator, so that's going to move to D, uh, basically in our denominator, and when you do that, the exponent moves from negative one-half, it becomes a positive number. 
Now we have D and E in our denominator. The nice thing about D and E is they have a common base, x squared plus 1. And when you multiply common base, you add exponents. So in F, we have added those exponents. 1 half plus 1 is 1 and a half, or 3 halves. And we now have the common base of x squared plus 1. And that is our result. 1 over x squared plus 1 to the 3 halves is our final answer. And that is factoring and simplifying. Now go practice, practice, and practice some more.